follow the side road until you reach the shrine. <laughs> Enjoy your respite. Target sighted. The structure in the center is the Galka Shrine. Let's see what awaits us inside. Secure. Back to the wall. Let's do it! Elena! Son of a... Elena! Need some assistance? 
Albert, take the other side. We three ought to suffice. heavy damage. An all circuitry offline in both right hand and left leg. Symbol drive is non-functional at the moment. Current power is being supplied from reserve energy source. In maintenance mode, I have at most 56 hours remaining. Advanced processing functions are also limited, preventing movement. Right. How can I help? Due to depleted energy levels, I will be unable to perform repairs myself. Furthermore, I can no longer salvage the parts I need from this damaged craft. Crap. So what are we supposed to do? Take me offline and destroy me. It is imperative that we prevent our technology from falling into the hands of anyone here. Are you crazy? What kind of captain would I be if I told my crew to start off in themselves? There's another way out of this. I know it. Of course. The equipment this life form requires to reconstruct itself can most likely be recovered from your down escape pod. Well, you certainly pick very convenient times to start talking. I speak only when necessary, such as my programming. And thank you for deciding to pipe up now because you're absolutely right. My escape pods barely sustained any damage. Think that'd work for you, Elena? I don't see why not. So long as you can collect enough of what I need. I should be able to restore my motor control systems to previous output levels. Here. This should be everything. Thanks. You go into maintenance mode. Save your energy best you can. Just keep a comm channel open for me, got it? Understood. Ray, I take this to mean we are returning to the site of your ship? mind? It's kind of out of the way. It may be, but we do not mind. We agreed to assist you in the search for your crew, and we intend to honor that agreement. Uh, wait. Don't know about you guys, but personally, I am super confused. I won't ask you to explain now, but you will tell us what's going on eventually, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You said there was another meteorite not unlike this one, did you not? Oops. Guess this isn't the way out of the Adali region. Target sighted. That you have another one just like it. Now my pod is hidden in the Larkus wheel. It's a little bit of a trek, but one worth taking. Uh, pod is what it's called then. Are they different from meteorites? Well, I guess from down here, they're technically the same. Anyway, I'll explain what they are in more detail later. We must first return via the route from whence we came. If we are lacking supplies, we may also want to consider stopping in the village of Ada along the way. Target sighted. Whoa, this is, uh, quite the shortcut. Target sighted. <sighs> Something tells me we probably shouldn't be getting into this swamp. Oh, wait! 
Target sighted. Target sighted. Target sighted.
pathetic. So sorry. Target sighted. Anyone need help? Ha! You rang? Sufficiently prepared? Very well then. The Larkus wheel awaits. Let's go. It's clear that these pods aren't meteors per se. So what exactly are they? Well, they're small, single passenger crafts. That's how Elena and I got here. No vessel could fall from such an altitude in one piece. Wait, didn't you say it was broken? And if it's not broken, where in the world is it meant to be ridden? Actually, among the stars. The stars, you say? So, um, Elena, was it? Is that strange-looking person your missing friend, right? Yeah, as far as I know, Elena and at least one other should be on this planet somewhere. Being alone on a new world can be very scary, so really like the Time for... Is there truly nothing that can be done for Elena's injuries? Some manner of first aid, at the very least. Trust me, I would if I could. As you can see, Elena isn't exactly cut from the same cloth as we are. She's kind of past the point of first aid. All we can do now is for me to repair her. Well, 
With Duma's help, there's at least some hope. Figure something out. Very well. For now, let us focus on reaching the Larkus wield. I think my pod was just a little farther south. Let's keep moving. Ray, hold a moment. By the looks of it, someone has stolen the march on us. Friends of yours? Not sure. I don't think so. <clears throat> Who's there? Well, that certainly answers my question. Move it or lose it, jerks! We don't have time for this! Let's break it! Retreat! Something fishy's going on. How were they able to control the pod like that? Come to think of it, how'd they even figure out it was here in the first place? Rather than contemplate unanswerable questions, I would advise that you focus instead on the expedient retrieval of the components the android requires. Hey, Elena. Can you hear me? Yes. We found the pod. Just tell us what you need, and we'll get to cutting. Understood. First, remove the pilot seat. Behind it, you should find a panel. Open it. We get to dismantle it. Excellent. Glad someone's excited. I have never seen this level of craftsmanship. What tools could produce anything with such impressive detail? Uncle Midas, work now, ask later. Next, I will need you to obtain the parts necessary to replace my Simbo Drive unit. This will require the removal of the pod's generator. When it's removed, you will be unable to make any more long-range subspace communications. Roger that. Let me call my brother real quick then. See if I can't get him to hurry it up a little. Computer, get me Antonio Lawrence. Unable to establish connection. What? Uh, fine, then try my dad. Get me Raul Lawrence. Unable to establish connection. Long-range subspace communication may be unable to reach the Virgold system at this time. What the hell? Ray, listen. So long as you're stranded here, you can't afford to lose your lines of communication. My recovery will have to wait. Sorry, but my captain's intuition is telling me otherwise. We're getting you patched up, whether you like it or not. But... My brother's already on his way, 
Plus, Chloe's still out there. And how am I supposed to save her without you, huh? You gotta trust me on this one, okay? Everything will be fine. Understood. Using the parts you salvaged, you'll need to begin by repairing my circuitry, followed by both my arm and hand. At which point I should be recovered enough to repair the remainder of my body myself. Estimated time until completion, 72 hours. Uh, okay? That's about the time I expected it would take. Leticia, I know this kind of derails things. But you cool to wait around? Of course. But Albert and I shall make the most of it. There is little doubt that many in the region witnessed the descent of Elena's craft. We will find out what they make of it. And we may discover the identity of those we caught snooping about your ship. I don't know. It is not without its dangers, I grant you. But if there are more of those men out there, it may affect Elena's chances at recovery. That's true, but it's a lot to ask. Where friends are concerned, it is a trifle. Count me in too! You guys will need a healer on hand in case Albert's arm starts acting up again, right? Your company would be a boon indeed. If my suspicions are correct and those men are with the Empire, then we will need all the help we can get. We will return to the shrine three days hence. Elena should be on her feet by then. Okay. Level go. You mentioned you came from the stars above. 
Are you telling me another world lies beyond the monster? Well, not just one. But yeah, pretty much. Far, far away, some of those tiny little dots you see inhabited by people like me. Stars have completely different civilizations and technology than that of our own. Yeah, I guess so. Almost to the shrine. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to go through this mountain more than once. Agreed. But if it's the price I have to pay for which is truly fascinating, then I pay it gladly. Appreciate it. I'm hoping you'll put those skills of yours to the test when it comes to repairing the lane. Further compensation for the right to challenge I will do what I can.
need to hurry back to Elena. Time isn't on our side here. See that? Eliminated. Like a hot knife through butter. Sorry, loser. I hurt. Hey, you awake? Midas and I are here and ready to help. Just tell us where to start. I doubt I'll be much help, but I am at your service. Thank you. I suggest we begin by restoring the Simba Drive. With that on mind, I'll be able to maintain power without relying on my limited battery supply. A portion of the main circuit has been damaged. Could you see that it's replaced with the part salvaged from your escape pod? On it. For your safety, I'll be shutting down. Bring me back online once you've finished. What? Did she just die? Uh, think of it more like a deep sleep. Alright, let's get to work. Hey, a little help with that? Oh, uh, right. Hopefully that did the trick. Let's bring her back. Good to see you again, Ray. Midas. The repairs you made were a success. Re-establishing Simbo Drive circuitry. Diverting power. Next, I must ask you to restore the use of my arms. But that should be the last step for you both. Once you're finished, I'll be able to repair myself without too much trouble. We're almost out of the woods now. Well now, you heard the lady. Come on, lad. Let's get to it. Just give me a sec. Today's been a lot. This is delicate work, Ray. Try to stay focused. Let's save what remains for tomorrow. You've been working without rest for a while now, and I'm worried that it's beginning to affect your efficiency. I thought we were in a hurry. Even the most skilled engineers need a solid rest every now and then. A point well made. My stomach concurs as well. I'm not sure what we would have done without your help. Spare me. We both know I'm only getting in the way. Though, I did learn that you people truly aren't of this world. Since we're laying our cards on the table, what happened between you and the Crown? Their purblind highborns decided our work did not merit continuing. The Royals, fools that they are, took their side. And now you've got it out for Leticia? It's not the girl I dislike, but what she represents. To aid her is to aid the kingdom. So keep your nose out of Yikes, sorry, just asking. Warning. Hostile entity detected. What are you doing with that thing? Got a problem with my friend, huh? Any friend of it is an enemy of mine. And I won't let either of you consume another world. And I need the beer. Now move. Gotta take it. You think your tricks will deter me? Uh-uh! Let me see you now! Insufficient But useless. I cannot fall here! Not now! You bastard! Scared. None. Slip away. 
I will not let you back into this world, too. What the hell are you even talking about, man? Cut! Out of my face! It seems I have reached my limit. You're far more powerful than I had assumed. I was ill-prepared. You may have won today's bout, but know this. So long as you dare to remain here, you will have to contend with me. Get back here! Let him go. It's too dangerous. Elena's repairs also have yet to be finished. <sighs> What's going on? Who was that? Another time, lad. Now we must finish the girl's repairs, and fast. Ray, we have returned with ill tidings. Huh? Are you okay? You look terrible. Blame the weirdo who tried to bust in and destroy Elena before her repairs were done. What? It was some giant purple-skinned asshole. Who the hell are the people on this rock with horns growing out of their heads? You guys ran into one too! I would hardly call our foe a giant, but he most certainly had the skin and horn you describe. I think our days of taking it slow and steady are behind us. Perhaps, but for now you should sleep. You may not have another chance for a while. And you look ready to keel over. We shall stand watch for you. We are more than capable. Please, rest while you can. Yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. All right. You guys mind waking Midas up before I... Before I... <laughs> good night, Ray. Ray? Ray? It's time to get up. You're awake, finally. Morning to you too. How are you feeling? Self repairs are ongoing, but I'm at least able to operate at 70% capacity. I can move just fine now. Oh, I slept through your first steps. Some captain I am. Midas was there for me, in your stead. Oh yeah? Thanks, man. Nonsense. Any doctor or inventor would do the same. Now that I've recovered, I can assist you. So, Captain, status report. Now, Chloe's down here. Likely on the other side of the kingdom. We're gonna find her. Leticia and the others have promised to help us out, thankfully. Thing is, I kind of had to promise them something in return. That I'd help cajole Midas into returning with them to the capital. Your efforts on that front will be in vain. Midas. Should my system see a marked drop in performance, for some reason or another, it would be helpful to have someone familiar with my schematics besides Ray nearby. That way, any problems that arise could be quickly dealt with. And if I say no? Then we would bid you farewell, and that would be that. Were I to require help on my journey, I would seek out a local semiomancer or engineer. <sighs> Enough, I'm coming. I've Albert's arm to consider, after all. <sighs> you will? But I'm only accompanying you lot for purely semiomantic reasons. I reserve the right to leave whensoever I wish. Appreciate it. Now, as for Chloe, any idea on how to begin our search? We have heard from reliable sources that Rythel's ports are meant to reopen in due course. And the quickest way to the easterly lands is by ship through the channel. Sounds like a plan. Come on, we got a boat with our name on it. Remember me, Welch, the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts? I need something like yesterday. I'll give you the deets in person, so come to my house in Delric ASAP. Do you copy? Ugh, 
A-S-A-P, okay? Tick-tock, tick-tock!